Hello, and welcome back to episode 15 of our Shadowrun Returns playthrough. We are in the basement of the Beige Brotherhood. We've got some karma to spend before we go through here. And I have a feeling there's some nasty people down here, so we're gonna go ahead and drop some into our ranged combat for our shotgun. And go ahead. Alright. There will be some stuff that uh, I have seen before just because I started to play through this level once already to record and hit a, uh, a game crash, more or less. Oh. I get some more karma. Okay. Uh, we found Shane. Oh. Cherry Bombs, uh... Let me get his ID here. Cherry Bombs sort of suitor ex-boyfriend. So we can come in here, actually. Even though we just spent some karma. And grab the next uh, wide load shotgun ability. Come over here. like some sort of uh, sacrificial altar, a pile of skulls, money transfers, very occulty looking room. Oh, you're not supposed to be here, alright. So let's do this right. Uh, give big times better aim. Give him some better armor. And give better armor to Coyote. Because they're sort of our two frontliners. And then you go ahead and haste out big time. So, what else can you do? Uh, Ace friends within a range of three with plus two move. Or we can create a lightning barrier. Uh, sure, we'll go ahead and give everybody plus two move so they can run up into. Uh, okay, so now he's got plus two movement. Get me out of here, some lady in jail. I will go ahead and hit adjacent target at ranges three or greater. All right, we'll go ahead and kneecap this follower, and then just give him a couple of regular blasts. All right, not bad, not bad. Uh, come into cover. We're a little too close, but okay. He charged us. Interesting. We have a lot of firepower we can bring to bear. All right, please help. All right, we're gonna grab holding cell thing. We're going to reload our gun before we do anything else. And we're going to come over here. You reload. And wait right here. You can come on into the room. Let's see what else. Uh, give you better aim. And you can, oh yeah, we're not, you can come on up here, open the door, check out this lovely room, anything interesting in here? Um, 
Apparently not. Okay. But as good a, good a place as any to hide. Alright, we'll send you over here. Uh, you can wait right there. Try this on yourself. Why not? So you actually should come over here too. You can come run all the way over here. And in that turn. Oh, whoops. Probably should have went in there first. Oh well. Let's see, all right, Marie Louise, young elf woman, is clearly shaken from being locked up and seeing her jailer killed in front of her eyes. These people are insane. I've been a prisoner all night and I heard noises. She shudders. Uh, what kind of noises? First it was chanting. Priests and acolytes have been going down that hole since they locked me up. But then it changed to screaming. It's something else, something foul. We've got to get out of here. Uh, you see a woman here, human, blonde, early 40s maybe? You mean Jessica? Yes, she's here somewhere. She and my aunt are together. My aunt brought me here. She said the brotherhood was just what I needed. That I could find a new family here like she did. That I could be part of something bigger than myself. Then it got weird. You'd expect people like this to be nice to you, you know? That's what they're all about. But this was different. They all started bowing to me. And that's when the chanting started. That's when I got really scared. <laughs> okay, time to go. Oh, nice. Looks like we found Jessica. Marie Louise, what do you think you're doing? What does it look like? No, you're needed here. There's a hungry glint in Jessica's eyes. I'll bet I won't be your sacrificial lamb, Jessica. My darling girl, you misunderstand. What we offer is eternal life, a chance to be part of a new... Jessica suddenly notices you and her words fall in her throat. You, you're alive? What is an eternal life? But it'll do. I like that answer. She composed herself. So you say. But I'm glad you're here. Truly I am. You've helped me more than you can know. Further open my already wide eyes. I thought I understood my feelings towards Sam. I thought I knew why I needed to put him and my old life behind me. But Sam represented so much more. This world is sick, you see. Humanity is sick. And perhaps better than anyone, Sam embodied that sickness. He cared nothing for others. He barely cared for himself. Self-destruction. It was Sam's path, and it's humanity's path. If we don't make a change, if we don't embrace a new way of thinking, we must put each other first, and this is the basis of my new family. Sure you're not just putting yourself first? Or does your new family know how you treat your old one? Uh, I like this. Sam and my mother were anchors, dragging me down with them into the gutter of human existence. But that part of my life ended at the burial. I'm free now, free to be uplifted by my new family. I mean, you kind of murdered your old family. There's a new world coming big time, and it's beautiful. Ordered, safe, unambiguous. A world where everyone knows their place. Imagine it, a world without chaos, without selfishness or any other human feelings. No one betrayed you or hurt you or... Uh, nuts, just plain nuts. Visionaries are seldom understood in their own time, but someday you will all join me in transcendence. But first, I think it's time to you met my new family. They're eager to make your acquaintance. That doesn't sound good. Okay, so we got... Uh... Oh. Some nasty-looking... Be oh, oh my! That looks like true form worker creature makes a mingled sound of chittering in human agony. Holy crap! Yeah, I agree. Don't be afraid, darling girl. No one will hurt you. You are our queen. She locked us in, but I can get us out of here. Last night they were holding me in the next room, the one with the computers. I jacked into one and was hacking their security system when I tripped the alarm and got caught. They threw me in, the in that cell and disabled the jackpoints, but I can fix them. We'll help you fix the jackpoints. 
Look, I went to the best school in the country for matrix engineering. I know what I'm doing. They locked the nodes down when they caught me, but I put, but I put slipped in some code. But I man, I think that should say, I, but I managed to slip in some code before they did. So it has to be me that jacks in. Just hold them off and let me fix it. What about intrusion countermeasures? I write IC as a hobby, okay? Just trust me and keep that thing away from me. How entertaining. I'm glad you weren't killed at the cemetery big time. It will be much more fun to watch you die. Oh, that lady is cold, evil, and messed up. Alright, so we defend her. Got a nasty little... Oh, it's like some sort of human being stuck to the back of some sort of... Carapace was like grown out their back. And this one is like a human head grown out the front. Okay, true form venom and a true form worker. Alright, where is there, there's big time. And there's coyote. Alright, so let's start by armoring up everybody again. Armor, armor, this guy's our healer too, right? So we're going to armor him up. All right, and then you throw out your haste. Chuck it over there. Nice. And then blast him. Can we hit him without hurting our friend? Okay, nice. Uh, and then we will get behind this post and uh, we should have uh, we should have kneecapped the worker. What else can you do? Lightning barrier. Oh, you can't do it on anyone. So do or we could block the door with it. Oh no, we can we can make it multiple. Okay. So lightning barrier. All around this little worker, so he has to like go around or get shot. Wait. Did he just like walk through it and nothing happened? Well, that's dumb. Alright. Heal up our friend here. Uh, does he have... Attack the one guy without the uh, the armor buff, of course. All right, Kennedy. Okay. I wonder if do they have to like stand on that to uh, you know, we'll run him over to this sort of medical room area. Right, let's actually kneecap him this time. And... Wow, they took a lot of damage. Alright. Okay, bug down. Okay, some sort of bug spirit. Very strange. So I, I know that you can't harm these. Uh, so I'm gonna run over here and blast this one. Uh, nice aim shot. Can we 
need heal still down. Alright, uh, we got aim accuracy. Give him some aim accuracy. He's wounded one. Uh, oh, that takes two. Everybody's armored up, I think. We'll just do a regular uh, attack here and see if we can hit. Probably should have ran behind cover or something. Alright. What can we do? Alright. Alright, so that one's down. Run Coyote back over here. Area effect reduces a chance to target someone by 50% last three rounds. Can we slow? We can't target with the slow. Uh, what equipment do you have? Uh, see if you can use it on yourself. Oh, nice. And... Might as well use a... Uh, Air Force Elemental and see what we can do with that. Alright, yeah, see what's immune. Of course. There, now you see them in their truest form. Now you see they cannot die. I don't know what it is, but it's not right. Um, what have you done? I have given flesh to the immortal soul. I have unlocked mankind's destiny. Uh, if you blind, these things are just giant bugs. Oh, your mind? They are so much more than you think. My mind was open to her when she called from beyond the veil, and she has rewarded my service and my faith with great power. This could have been yours as well, Marie Louise. You were to be host for our queen. What matter? There is another. Oh. Okay, so Marie Louise is jacking in. Uh, reload. And let's give this nice true form worker another set of blasts. A lot, of, a lot of shotgun shells being spent. Alright, uh... Come over here. Just make it mad. Um, Alright, what do we... He's still protected armor plus two, armor plus two. And armor, alright. We can get... Accuracy back on him. Oh, or we could try this. We'll try and oh. man about this. Maybe it'll work. maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Oh. Didn't work. Alright. Uh you can go hide over here with the other dude. Uh, and we'll haste Cody. Ooh, we probably should have hasted her, but I don't know if that would have worked. Just for funsies, we'll... We'll do a single AP. And move him up to be sort of bait. Alright, so three good create an attacker program. Send the attack program up to deal with this.
53, that's a weird number. Normally do nice round numbers. Alright, it's so, uh, Tar bomb. These two. Cannot move. Nice. I'll go ahead and hit this one then. Uh, heal yourself. And blaster. Hit all three of them, nice. And, oh, let's try Killer 2. Probably should have done that in the first round. Ah, missed. Alright. Run up. Killer 2 again. 96% chance. He was gonna say, don't give me any of that. Missed the 90. 6% chance BS. Alright, and back to blasting immortal bugs. Uh, let's stay there for now. See, is there any? Oh, let's reload. Yep. See, so is there any way to get out of this room? That door closed back off, and there was nothing in there, which was strange. Oh, go ahead and reload. How's your... Okay, we gotta top your armor back up. And his too. Alright, everybody... Everybody needs some armor. And... He's got armor. She needs armor, but she's too far away. We'll aim boost big time again too. And we will can we slow? Nope. No. We'll do this again just for fun, I suppose. Okay, so we know that, uh, I didn't realize this big time could run over and help out. Oh yeah, definitely. Sneaky, okay. See, so here I am. Uh... White Sparky here. And then run back out of line of sight. We could have been seen. I had no idea. Alright, hit Mr. Sparky here. Seventy-two percent. Can we kill you? Yeah, you wait one turn. All right. Uh, come on up. You're sort of bait. We're gonna tar bomb these two fellows. They're too. Oh man, too far apart. All right. Let's hit Mr. Sparky Charger over here. Uh, K 
each other. Nice. Now we can hit them both, I think. Yeah, right on the edge. Blaster. And our attack program can tarp on them. All right. Let's come on over here. Blast these bugs again, just to keep them down. Uh, well, actually, before we do that one more time, let's give you an accuracy boost. It's, that's just pitiful, what you're doing. Come on, Kyrie. I know you lost your arm and everything, but you'd think you'd have better aim with a shotgun. At this range? Come on. Okay, let's see. We got fog and slow. Yeah, just gonna try our luck with our pistol. Uh, he's like one HP. He's just here to take hits. Oh. Ouch. Alright. I don't think we'll need to come in after I Baron Samedi. Mary Louise, I find you. Excuse me, who's this guy? Harkeem, is that you? Call me Samedi, please. We're in an unsecured node. Hang on, I'm running a decoy operation with a mirror's utility to mask you so the rest of the Brotherhood's grid doesn't swarm you with ice. How did you find me? You leave a very distinctive trail, ML. You need to work on that. Now what the heck is going on here? There's no time. The next level the Universal Brotherhood is always talking about, I think they transform into bugs. I heard some rumors on Shadowland, but this is worse than I thought. I warned you about these people. You've got to get out of there. I don't know who this guy is or what these people are doing. This is... Something we run into is no explanation in the story for this. Way ahead of you. The snow controls the doors. We're free. Now we just need to get out of here. I'll see you soon, I hope. Tell the leader of the runner team with you to contact Baron Samedi and the Matrix as soon as they gain access. Tell them I will be looking for them. Uh, okay. Complete. And now we run like the Dickens. We as well. Yep, right, one, two, three, get to the door as quickly as you can and pop out. Sort of like a little escort software. And Jack. Okay. All right, nice, the door is open, okay. So let's run over here and open the door. All right, uh, uh, should I have jacked into the computers? I don't know. What happens if you do that? Uh, no, I'm not gonna worry about that. You can try it on your playthrough. Maybe I should have done that though. Uh, we'll see, what can you do? Armor boost for our escort target. Uh, Blast of Lightning? We'll see. 
Our escort target is out, and our runner buddy is out. Whoops, uh, bad and stick in the fight there. He's out. And that is success, sort of. Ray Louise is putting on a tough face, but you can see she's spooked. I mean, uh, we're spooked too. Thanks for the rescue. I'm getting the heck out of here. Uh, who are you? Where are you going? She's glassy eyed, maybe shock. I'm I just gotta get out of here. Don't worry about me. I'll see you around. I mean, parents may, the image that suddenly lights up your comm link is clearly a non-standard transmission. Whoever it is, they're using the matrix to tight beam their avatar's face instead of their own. You can tell that the voice has been modulated to disguise it. Bonsoir, mon ami. You must be careful with these devices. They can be hacked if you're not careful. Who are you, and how did you get this comm link code? Forgive me, I am the Baron Samedi. Perhaps you have heard of Samedi? He is a decker of unique gifts. Some have gone so far as to call him a technomancer. We too, we have a common knowledge now, and we share a common purpose. Uh, I am listening. The girl, she is important to Samedi. He is grateful for your timely assistance to her, and he finds himself in a position to return the favor. Samedi knows the one of you are knows the one you are after, he knows, and he can help you get to her. But this coming it is not a secure connection, is it? No, we need to meet face to face, so to speak, in cyberspace. Uh, when I meet the girl, when I'm in cyberspace. Uh, you see the Baron, he is unable to do such a thing in his current condition, but enough about me. Suddenly the Baron's flowery speech is gone, he's all business. Get to a secure jackpoint. Enter Shadowlands. I will meet you there. Bon voyage. Baron grins, and his image flickers away. Uh, okay. Anything interesting out here? Or we just climb the fence and go? I guess we just climb the fence and go. Just to a new location. Sure. Alright. The Union. Getting justice for Sam is going to take more effort than it originally appeared. You didn't anticipate this killer being protected by a cult filled with giant unkillable bugs. But she is. If you're going to get her, you're going to need to find a way around or through those bugs. After a taste of the belonging that the Universal Brother had offered, the sordid surroundings of the Seamstress Union feel more like home than ever. <laughs> no kidding. You would need a basement with human bug hybrids that are trying to kill you that you can't kill. Literally, literally cockroaches. Alright, tell Cherry Bob about Shane and find Johnny in the safe house. Alright, well, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, if you're as creeped out as I am, leave a comment below and let me know. <laughs> and we'll see you next time.